Good morning, welcome to the FTS bet slip on Sunday, the 15th of March. Um, no uh, singing today, no singing. Um, it is strange old times we're in, isn't it? Madness. Um, I mean, uh, the one thing it's shown me is, is, I mean, we went through, obviously wasn't alive, but a world war, or two world wars, but certainly stories from grandparents things of world war Two and rationing and uh, the country being bombed and it seems that the narrative was that everything came together and fast forward 80 90 years and um what a, how society has changed i do firmly believe is society is broken i know there's good people out there and people trying to do um, good things but just watching how people are behaving in supermarkets and things with absolutely no regard for anybody else um, I just called in to pick a few bits up you certainly won't see me queuing at seven o'clock at a supermarket and fighting with people um, but shelves empty um, taking as much of everything as they can rather than waiting and got to remember there's people out there who can't afford to st stockpile food or I don't know, baby supplies, nappies and formula milks and stuff like that, all of which would be quite expensive. Um, certainly was when we were raising our kids. Um, and people just don't care. And that's the, that's the sad thing. People just grabbing it and don't really give a shit. Just taking whatever they can for themselves. Um, it's sad. I just find it really sad to observe. I mean, this is this is going to be unprecedented. I'm not, I've not seen anything like it in my life where the world is actually shutting down. Um, but life will go on, it will get dealt with, um, there won't be, um, there won't be food shortages and things, you know, the supermarkets themselves are saying that, if everybody just acts normally then uh, it will be fine, but um, again I just think a lot of it's wound up from social media, people see others doing it and think that's what they've got to do, uh, and you really don't, and interestingly enough in the supermarket last night shows again what a society we've become, the the only aisles that really had things in were the fresh food aisles, like fresh fruit, fresh veg, plenty of that. Potatoes galore, carrots, onions, leeks, cabbages, lettuces, tomatoes, cucumbers, fruit. There, the stuff where people have to put a bit of effort in. But frozen chips, pizzas, ready meals, tin food, all gone. Um, and I know people say, oh yeah, no, but we can stockpile that and we can keep it. But you don't need to do that. I mean, I've never really got frozen chips. You get a potato, cut it cut it up, put a bit of oil over it, put them in the oven. It takes just as long to cook a frozen chip, and the frozen chips, ever, I've never had one I like. They're all shite. Um, but, yeah, we are where we are. Um, right, sport-wise, obviously, people are going to wonder what's going on. It is it is going to be quiet. They will come. There's a meeting this week of the Premier League. Um, there's, there's a couple of leagues. We had a nice winner in Russia yesterday. I've got a bet for you today. Um I will obviously turn my more attention punting wise to horses and it will give me time now each day. I'll do the horses each morning um, as I used to and put those out. Um, and football wise, um, while we wait to find out what's going on, it will be time for us to, you know, we're not just going to shut the doors and that's it. Um, do some education on discipline, using the data, things like that. I'll have time to make videos, I would imagine. Um, so... You know, it will still be time to learn and consolidate. Um, and whilst we've got a couple of leagues, we'll have a go. I see it really as a sort of bit like an extended summer at the minute. Um, but we will see what happens once they start making announcements. But it will return. Um, but I will, as I say, over the next three, four weeks, um, just turn my attention to um, education and videos and things like that. It will actually give me a chance to catch a lot of that up. So out of every negative does come a positive um, and as I say the horses I'll start doing a lot more stuff on that and I can do those every day now because I'll have the time um, without having to do a hundred football matches so plenty of things that will be going on for the good we will still be ticking over do not panic everybody's panicking just I've never had the panic gene in me I don't know what I don't think I've, there's anything in my life I've ever panicked about why people panic um, but yeah, strange old times, isn't it? It is funny. But I'm really interested to see what they do with the football. I'm really intrigued to see how they handle it. Um, I know Liverpool fans won't um, like it, but I just can't see how they could do anything other than call it all off uh, if they can't get the games played. I don't see how you can start awarding 
positions, you know, if you award Liverpool it, and yes, they are streets clear, but then what you say you ought to be X points clear and Leeds don't get it in the championship. I can't remember who's top Leeds or West Brom or wherever it is. And what you do about the other leagues and relegations, I just can't see what you do. Um, uh, and if you say, you know, people say, right, go into next season and cancel, what about the players whose contracts end this summer? Um, you know, Chelsea buying that guy from Ajax. How do you handle all those sort of things? Um, it really is. I'm really intrigued. I mean, as I say, it's unprecedented. We are where we are. And I just think uh, you've got to get through each day. First and foremost, stay safe. Got to remember that people are dying in all this. And um, the lack of a football match is a tiny little thing. Um, and let's see what happens. But it's interesting, isn't it? It's interesting times. Anyway. That's it. Let's all rush to the supermarket, charge, and buy a load of stuff that we don't really need. Madness. Um, okay, football. Game kicking off at 1.30 in Russia again. Uh, and this is uh, CSKA Moscow versus FC UFA. UFA. Uh, over two and a half goals. So drip backing over two and a half goals through the sort of first 15 minutes. And then trade on a goal. Remove your liability first. So that is CSKA Moscow versus UFA. There were a couple of ultimate half-time lays. Um, one game's in play at the minute and another one later. I did put those up. Um, but other than that, that is all I've got um, off that football-wise for today. Um, as I say, I will do the podcast every day. I'll turn more to racing. I'll be doing a bit more racing myself now, which is good. Um, and it will be education on this, so just don't panic. We will keep the wheels of industry turning. Um, and as soon as we know stuff on the football, then I can start to plan for the way forward with all that. Um, but, yeah, as I say, just, just don't panic. Let things go, and we'll see where we get to. Right, that is it. Have a lovely whatever it is sunday stay safe stay in if you can um and um i'll be back with you tomorrow morning